Hello, and welcome back to my channel. Um, well, I, th I guess by clicking on the this video, you've read the title, you've seen the thumbnail, you know why we're here, right? We're gonna reviewing new Busy Pop Halloween merch. And um, I'm kind of glad I got to review some of this before I jump on a on a boat and just fuck off for a week. So uh, I, I probably won't get much. It's probably be the only thing I get before I leave. So. But I'm very excited. I loved all the merch this year, so I cannot wait to see that when I get back. So, uh, as we're recording this, it is October 3rd, and I've only received this so far. Now, I know exactly what this is, because um, it was the only thing that wasn't a pre-order that would ship before this November, so... Oh, and I know learn from these. Like, unboxing things because uh, I keep forgetting to bring scissors up here. Yeah, so for a while we probably won't get any pins for the first few moments of this video, but it's okay. Uh, they'll ship out eventually. I'll probably get a shit ton of shop notifications once I come back into the States and whatnot, so I'll find out what happens. I really wish I had scissors now. <laughs> but it's almost there. I was very excited when they, they said I, I know because I know what this is. It's one of the pin boards and whatnot. And uh, I was very excited. I'm like, oh my god, we finally get pin boards. I didn't know that fans are actually asking for these for a while. So I'm very excited to see what this is. Like, um, like how it looks and how it feels. Maybe we'll put some pins on it. Who knows? I mean, I'd plan to, but like, I don't know if I'm going to do it in this video. <laughs> oh, it's beautiful. All right. Sticker in order form to make sure we got everything right. Okay. Okay. I got the the grimoire one. This actually looks pretty cool. Take it out. Free it. Okay, I can't smell right now, but <laughs> feels nice. Very bendable. I don't know if cork boards are supposed to be bendable. Because most of the ones that I've had has the, uh, like, the wooden border around it. So you can't really bend it, but... Okay. Looks pretty thick, too, so if I put a pin in here, it shouldn't, like, blend on the other side. So let's go ahead and try that. Do my... Do one of the first pins right here. See how it looks. Okay, it's... It looks pretty good. Let's see? Probably put a lot of pins on there. I know on the display thing when they show all the pins on here, then the spread out, which that might be for everyone, but like, you might as well get the most out of this, you know? So. This actually looks pretty good. I like it. I might. I don't know if I would use this for the official merch or the uh, the fan merch or whatnot, but maybe I'll just put any of the stuff on here for now and see how it looks. It's very pretty. Let's put another pin on there, let's see. Put the yeah, the angel dust pen on there. Let's see. It doesn't make a lot of noise, which I'm I'm like noticing now. Like the um because when I put a pin in let me pull up the cork board. <laughs> a little heavy now. Whenever I put a pin in here, you can I can somewhat hear like a noise coming from it. Here, let's um do this one. Yeah, it has like a little bit of a noise. I don't know if it picks up on the mic, but yeah, there's a little bit of a noise there. With, with this one, there's like no noise. But I'm a little curious now that if we take out the pin, what does it look like? Well, because they're like an audible pool. Okay, there's a little bit of a hole. I don't know if it'll. Like, yeah. You somewhat see on the camera and whatnot. I'm gonna make a new noise when going in, which is nice. Alright, I like this. This is this is pretty good. If they ever come back in stock, I highly recommend getting one of these. They also had like the, the demon one, I think that was inspired by Hasman Hotel and whatnot. I think maybe Alistair, but like I had to get the Grimoire one because I like Stolas, dude. But I'll put on the rest of the um the Angelus pin, see how many I can fit on here and whatnot. And uh I guess we'll go from there. So I guess my next clips I'll Unbox something else. <laughs> hey, 
It's, um, this is clip two. Sorry the intro wasn't that good. I'm realizing that now as I was rewatching it. Uh, <laughs> I was kind of out of it that day, but I was like, I really want to just open the box. <laughs> so, uh, that's where I was in my mental state. So I'm sorry if the intro wasn't that good. Uh, but I have two packages of technically one. I got one in today. I got this one a while ago and then I opened it and I'm like, fuck, I didn't film it. So it's still in the plastic. So I'm going to show that off to you now. I got the Grimoire, the, the, I believe it's the, the black and red edition. I don't know if this is limited edition. I don't know if it's just special for Halloween. I think it was just listed as limited stock, so it might come back in the future. But this is beautiful. Look at, I wish I had the other Grimoire up here with me. That way I can show both of them off. It's basically just a recoloring. And instead of like uh, the gold on the side, you can see it. It's red glitter instead. And that's right. I got, I, I think the, the Grimoire that I have right now, the original one, is the line one. And I just got the normal sketchbook one. But they had two different versions. So if they do ever restock this in the future, you can get either the sketchbook one or the line one, depending on whatever use you want to use for it. But this is beautiful. The, the paper feels really nice for a sketchbook. Yeah, feels nice and whatnot. Nice paper. I'm not, I don't know if I should try this out with like a Sharpie and see if it bleeds. No, I'm fuck. We'll try it with a Sharpie, see if it bleeds strip. Do the welcome to factor cap in this episode. Let me just like, let me just do a little smiley face in the corner. Okay. Do a little smiley face. And then here's that on the other side. It, it, like you can somewhat see it. It doesn't really bleed through, but you, you'd still see it. So maybe just do like, just normal pencil sketches on here, so. But I love it, and the back looks cool too. Everything, this is amazing. I can't, let me go ahead and put this on the shelf, but hold on. Then there's the um, little bookmark thing. It's on here as well. And this one is black. It was nice. And whatnot, it's pretty good material. I don't think that's gonna like thread out or anything, so put it on the bookshelf. Actually, let me... I'll put this on the bookshelf later. I gotta reorganize stuff, so I'm gonna go right there for now. And then I got this in today. And I can't wait to see what it is. I know it is in the pins that I ordered the first, like, right when the sale went on, so I'll we'll disappoint in that. Oh my god, I love them already. Ah, sorry. So, let's start off with Cameron's, which I'm going to give him in a second. We have this sketchy Halloween one, which is uh, sketchy imp Halloween plans. So it has Blitz, Luna, Millie, and Moxie. Moxie, the, I don't know, I don't think it's listed anymore what the official ones are. I'm just trying to remember what these are. So, Moxie's is a vampire, Millie's a mummy, Luna, I believe, is a witch, and honestly, I have no idea what the fuck Blitz is. Here's... Oh shit. Hopefully it's not that... Here's all of them together. Let me know what Blitz is. I can't. I couldn't figure out his costume for the life of me. I'm like, is he a demon? I'm like, no, but he's really... A, he's an imp. Oh, you dress up... That's like me dressing up as a human for fucking Halloween, so... Get the fuck out of here. Apples... Why the fuck is there an apple? So I don't fucking use apple <laughs> Uh, but the cutie cute. This is going up on his uh, little wall right here. Which, which I probably need to show you guys the update. I'll, I'll put this on his in a second, but like, let's also show off this one. I got these together because I kind of wanted to show them off together. It is the Stolas and Octavia one. Sketchy. But I'm kind of glad they did the sketches because um, I know they kind of showed off the sketches. The sketchy ones for Stolas and Octavia during season 2 episode 2. So I'm kind of glad they got to bring them in. I love that Stolas is a cowboy. I think it's a horse. Wait a minute. I can't tell. I can't tell if he's a horse. Because is this? Hold on. Let me put this back up. He lo it looks like he's wearing a saddle right here. I swear to God, it looks like a saddle. Or that might be a cowboy jacket. I don't know. And then Luna Octavia is a little little witch, I believe. Very cute. Like a sorcerer. It's very cute. I cannot wait to put this on my wall in a second, which I'm going to do that right now. Okay, I gotta show you guys an update on the on the thing right now, which I did ask 
for pin boards for Christmas. So I'm a little excited about that. Which, um, for right now, I just won't put up the, uh, any Fat Nuggets or Angel Dust ones until I get my new pin boards in. But for now, I reorganized a little bit. Because I want this section for just Hell of a Boss and Hasman Hotel. So here is all the Hasman ones, all beautiful on this one thing. All right, let's go ahead and put them on here. So our thing starts right here. Look how pretty they are. Oh, they're so cute. All right, this doesn't feel that heavy anymore. But there they are with the, the other pins and whatnot. So you can compare them. Oh, cute. And then uh, for anyone who's wondering where the, uh, the Hasman Hotel ones are, I ended up putting them on here. I tried to put them in order, but then I realized I ran out of room really quickly. So this is what it's going to look like for a little bit. So I didn't realize like all the pins that I have fit on this one little pin board. I'm very surprised. Honestly, they could have done a bit more work with this. This is pretty flimsy and whatnot. I feel like if there wasn't a bunch of pins on it, it probably just like, yeah, you can see it just bends super easily. But, um... I mean, the fans wanted it, and honestly, I kind of like the, the Grimoire one, so... Maybe I'll get the, the Demon one at some point. I don't- I think that one's based off of Alistair. Maybe. And then Cameron's is right here as well. Let me grab that. Let me put this one down. Why the fuck is Epic Games being like- See, what's new this week? Like, I'm gonna use the fucking Epic Games launcher. Anyway. Uh, then we have his pin board, which- his, we're still missing a couple of pins with his, which is fine. I know it's gonna take a while because ones that are he's missing are fucking expensive. But very pretty. That way you I, you guys just see the updated collection and whatnot. Which, by the way, for Stolas, Angel Dust, Fan Nuggets, and Octavia, I have a hundred percent complete collection of the, the pins and standees and all that jazz. So go ahead and put these on. They're gonna be a little bit of work because I, I had all the normal pins and whatnot. I didn't think they were gonna make Halloween sketchy pins, so my fault. Okay, let's try to put them in order, like in the like how they are. Let's go right here, perfect. And then Luna. Yeah, leave in the comment if you know what the fuck. Uh, Blitz is supposed to be for his Halloween costume? Let me know. I'm really fucking curious. I didn't want to sound like a dumbass if I asked, but I, I am a dumbass, so I'm asking. Put the Millie right there. Perfect. And then a little Moxie. Put right there. Oh my god, they're so cute. Of the only color that's added to them is the orange for their costumes and the pumpkins and stuff. Alright, now let's show the pin board again. Look how gorgeous they are. Hold on. Sorry. Oop, fuck. <laughs> I'm fucking this up. Hope you guys can see them pretty well. Might be a little bit of a glare from the sun, but like... They're so pretty! Honestly, I, I kind of like the Moxie collection for him. He's pretty good. I didn't realize Moxie had this many stuff, but it might just feel like a lot. Because like... Since Moxie's part of like the main four, he has like the collection, like the set pins and whatnot. And there's still plenty of set pins that I'm missing, so... And then, like, I don't know why this matters. I don't want to just talk about my... I asked for a pin, two pin boards, pretty large ones. That way, when I do get, like, an apartment or a house, I get to hang them up all night. So, we'll do has been on one side and hell of a boss on the other. So, because, I mean, the shows don't really, like, the pins don't really mix. So, I don't have to worry about, like, that. <laughs> But this other pin board that I have, I'll be transferring all the Moxie stuff onto it. Because it's, it's a nice pin board. It looks really good and whatnot. But it's just like... And then we'll probably use this one for fan pins and whatnot. Which... I have a lot of pin boards now. <laughs> the same. But, um... Yeah, that's the collection so far. Um, updates for right now. Um... I have a keychain that is on the way. It just shipped today, right when I got my package. Also, it is October 23rd when I'm recording this. So I have the Solus keychain on the way. Nothing else has shipped yet. Not even my first order has shipped at all. None of the playmats or posters. Nothing. 
And, I don't, and I'm not getting shirts this time around because Cameron was nice enough to buy me posters. So, you know what? You gotta pick the battles and I wasn't gonna pay $100 for posters. So, you know, I'll, I'll stick with no shirts this time around. It's fine. But, uh, yeah, I guess we'll see you guys in this clip. Yeah, the package. <laughs> Let me sit a little straighter. I'm sorry. Yeah, it looks... Uh, sorry, with the hair. I got out of the shower, and then I got a little notification saying that, uh, my package got delivered, so... Oh, yeah, dude. So, here we are. Doing this. Okay, something's wrong with it. Ooh! What's this? Wait, wait, hold on. What's this? Oh, that's just a... Just a sticker. Is this the glow in the dark shark bot robot sticker? Oh my god, hold on. I would just try this out by just shutting off the lights, but there's big ass windows in front of me, so it wouldn't even be dark in here. I would just have to see this later on. Why not? But like, anyway. Look at the little guy! Little Moxie Keychain. Give this right to my boy, but. I'm just gonna leave it on his desk because he's doing stuff right now. So. Oh, it's so cute. It's made in China. Warning choking hazard. Oh, this is so pretty. Pretty thick. You can see. But. This is me so pretty. That little pretty man right there. And then. Okay. Oh, this is so cute that they did the, uh, the glow in the dark. He changed now. I was wondering what they're going to do for the, uh, the keychains this year. Mainly because last year they did like witch themed and whatnot for some of the characters and stuff. So I'm a little sad that only I, the IMP gang plus the Wilson Octavio got keychains this year and not any of the has been hotel ones, but it's okay. It's really cute. You can somewhat see, at least like, I don't know if it picks up on the camera or not, but you can somewhat see that it's like a little green, like the, uh, the white. It's a little tint of green. I think that's just because of the glow and dark thing. But um, maybe once we get all three of these things together, we can. Um, I'll turn off the lights and see if you can see them glow in the dark and, and see what that looks like. It would not. So that's gonna be pretty cool to see. Because yet there is protective film on. It's on this side. Is it on both sides? Come on. Do it. Yep. Okay, there's protective film on both sides of these, so that's good. I'm glad they did that. That's what's really important that they did the protection thing, because you don't want your product to come in and be all scratched. So. Alright, well, can't wait to see what the Stolas and Octavia one really look like IRL, but there's a little back seat. And I guess I'll see you for more packages pretty soon. I'm back. I got another package. Made sure I black out my address. <laughs> watch, watch if I didn't, and I just full blown show that shit. Ready? I wish I had the other one with me, but I'm, I'm kind of packing right now. Okay. Look at the baby. The Solus skeleton keychain. He's so cute. Got a lot of scratches on him though. <laughs> Motherfucker was manhandled. Oh, jeez. a lot of scratch. There's like one big ass scratch. I don't know if it picks up on the camera, but it's like perfectly like right there. <laughs> the big donk. <laughs> Let me see if I could. Let's hope it's not too deep, because that, that looks pretty deep for a cut like that. If it is deep, then, uh. Kind of screwed because uh, this product is sold out. <laughs> All right, well, it didn't actually get into the product. That's good. And then let me do the other side. I would turn off the lights to see how the glow in the dark is, but unfortunately, I cannot because if I do, it's still going to be too bright in here. <laughs> so. Maybe I'll take a picture of it at some point, but, um... Oh, it's so cute. I wish they did this for the Hasman Hotel people as well. But... Look at this little boy. A little bit. He's a nice little guy. I'm gonna put some of my keychain. With the amount of keychains that I already have on it. I don't know, but he looks so cute! 
He's just a little guy. I think my camera <laughs> Yeah, it's fine. It happens. Well, little guy. So I just had a bunch of packages just shift. Included a couple of pins and then the necklaces and a couple of other things as well. They're pretty fast. I'm honestly impressed. So, but uh, I guess uh, when I get that in, no cut to that. <laughs> so it's been a couple days. It is now November 11th. And I have, oh wait, they're not behind me anymore. Okay, three packages in my hand. And this big one. So we have four to open up today. <laughs> Maybe because um, I haven't been at the actual the address that these deliver to in a little bit. So they kind of piled up. So, but I somewhat remember what's in them. So let's start with the box first before we do the individual packages. And also, I brought scissors. I actually learned this line. Also, say hi to my new son. Um, her, her name is Wendy. Uh, I don't know what we should actually name her. That That's what the Squishmallow tag said, but like... I don't know what we should name her. We saw her at uh, GameStop. We were like, that's her, that's her new child, so now we have a new child, so... Aren't you a good froggy? Yeah, good frog. Right. So we have... A little package, which we'll open up. I'm gonna put this on for little package. The Octavia chain. Isn't she pretty? Gorgeous. I'm gonna put on my keychain in a second. I'm gonna put it off to the side for now. Also, they do glow. I put it in this like, little dark room that we put our keys and whatnot, and um, it straight glowed. So, didn't work as advertised. Right. And then here. Ooh, okay, we have the necklaces in their respective boxes. Let's do this one. Let's see. And then, this is the silver one. The Grimoire Seal Mirror Locket Silver Variant. It's pretty. It's moving around a lot. Okay. This dog? adorable and then i don't like the silver with it and then yep there's a lot of scratches in the mirror but that can easily be taken out with the um the protective seal that they put on it which i'll do that later but this is adorable all right and then <laughs> and then we have The Grimoire Seal Mirror Locket Rose Gold variant, which I, I thought this was going to be like bronze. <laughs> Somewhat bronze. I don't know what a rose gold constitutes as, but I think it looks pretty here. Look at this. It looks so pretty. Ooh. A little scuffing on the edges. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's at the very bottom of the mirror, there's a little bit of scruffing and whatnot, but it'd be okay. We'll get through this time together. But this is a very pretty box. I'm glad they diventuated? Diversified the boxes for the necklaces. And it'll just have it looking the exact same as the gold one, so I'm very pleased with it. I'm gonna use the box right here. And a little trap can to open. Alright. Let's do the smaller one. Alright. We got Halloween Party Octavia. Very pretty. One now. And then we have Got Dolis. Very pretty. Oh, it's all pretty fast. Alright. Fairy Stolis Portrait. And that is a silver one. I want to take these out and see. I'm not really noticing like the same shine that the gold does for the like castle of the silver, but it's very pretty, I wanna lie. And then we have the little stolet's changing portrait. So you can see it goes like here, and then change into big stolus. <laughs> Alright, 
We got everything in here. Alright. And let's do this one next. Alright, we got changing someone's changing portrait number three. So let's start us off like this. And then you swim to the side and it shows uniform. Very cute. And then we have the order form with the sticker. Alright. There's no other things in there. Moxie changing portrait number two. So yep, there's him at camp and then him with his little little guitar. And that's the camera next time I see him. And then we have the fiery Octavia portrait. Look how pretty. Let me make sure it focuses. Focus. <laughs> Very cute. And then we have the fiery Moxie portrait as well. Adorable. There we go. It's focusing. Yeah. So we got eight pins so far. So I think that's pretty good. Now so Love the dark stickers. And then we have one last package to open. Which I know what this one is. Which I'm very excited about. Okay, another one dark sticker, our order form. And then here's the babies. So first we have the Witch Glitter set number one, which has, uh, it looks kind of weird, but I think it's just the, the amount of glitter that they put on these. And then we have the Glitter, the Witch Glitter set number two. And you see there's Brizzarelli on it, which I will take them out in a moment. All right, so we have, I already opened the second one. So let's see what we're doing. <laughs> so first we have, like I said before, we have Fizzer Raleigh, and then we have Blitz, cute, and then next we have Osmodius or Ozzy, then we have Stolen, cute and precious, then we have Andrelophus, I believe is how you pronounce his name, this is a little hard to see, so I'm apologizing. Yeah, it's they're real hard to see. The glitter. I don't know what it is. But, um, yep, yeah, that's what he looks like. <laughs> and then, last but not least, we have little Moxie. It will be cute. Some of these I will give to friends and whatnot. So, that way I'm not wasting, like, room on these. But, like, I think the only person that asked for one of these is Gummy, and they asked for, Be like, Beelzebub, which I will show in a second. So, I'll make sure that gets delivered to them. Just want to make sure people use the, the stickers. Now we have the first set. So let's go through this. Alright, so we have the Yowls above. And we have Sally Mae. Then we have what? Luna. Then we have Millie. Then we have Veronica. And last but not least, we have my favorite little Octavia. It's her little thing. With Gummy, I know she, I think they only requested uh, Beelzebub, but to be honest, they have other favorites. So I might also give them the. I think their favorites are. Well, when I first talked to him, before Beelzebub was even a character, they said they like uh, Brassica, Millie, and Luna. So I might also send those with Beelzebub as well. And, you know, I'll send them uh, Sally Mae as well. I don't see why not, girl team, because all I really wanted was the little Octavia one. So I guess I'll keep the other other boys as well. I don't, I don't know if I have any other... The friends that I have aren't really into Hell of a Boss and whatnot, so I guess I'll just keep these for myself and put them in the little sticker book. But at least the the other other five will be going to a, a nice home and whatnot. And they do appreciate the characters. But I will show you guys me putting them in in there, but I fortunately do not have a sticker book with me right now from from what you can tell, this is not my normal area. <laughs> 
So when I when I get back home, everything gets all fixed, fixated again. When I I will put these in there and probably show it up on the Discord server or whatnot of their new homes in my little book. But now we got our sticker packs. We got the recap. We got the necklaces. And we have multiple pins. So just recap. We have all right. So we have the complete set. Oh, complete set. Because it's just a character that I collect and Cameron does and whatnot. So we have all the fiery pins. Then we have, I believe, all of the change of portrait pins. There's only three. Why not? Yeah, there's only three. And then we have one god and one party one. So that's what we're working with right now. So when those come in, when this comes in, we'll figure that out, which let's do a quick update real quick. <laughs> Alright, so order update. I think when Cam like Cameron said, I believe that the playmats have shipped out and whatnot. So that's good. Posters have not. Uh, some of the other pins have not. Uh, the cards are in transit. There is more pins that are in transit, which I believe is pretty much all of the chibi costume ones. The GB costume glitter pins. So all those were in there. And also there's a Fat Nuggets Halloween one as well. And then that should be everything from the set. Well, from the well, Halloween. So But then also by the this time, like while we're, like recording this, the Black Friday merch also has come out as well, which I'm afraid started ordering that. So but that's gonna be its own thing and be unboxing that. But uh, yeah, I guess next time you see this, I'll have more stuff. Alright, so I have a, <laughs> as you can see right here, I have a lot of, uh, I say a lot, it's like three packages right here, but it equals to a lot in the grand scheme of things, so. Which one should I start with? This one is suspicious, because the way it's lumpy, so I'm gonna open this one first. <laughs> Alright, and this was ordered over a couple of days ago, and I think this. Okay, these are pins. This is Chibi Stolas costume. I'm pretty. Oh. oh, this one fell out. Oh. Okay, we have the the Chibi Moxie costume. Okay. Oh. Right, and then Try to fix them. Okay, then we have Fat Nuggets Halloween Threatening Aura. It's really fat nuggets, but I literally. Okay. Alright, and then. TV Fat Nuggets costume. Glitter. And then we have. TV Angel Dust costume. Look how cute he is. He's so adorable. Yeah. Sometimes it doesn't want to work. And then there's one more in here. Okay, we got one more. The Chibi Octavia costume. Look how pretty she is. <laughs> Alright, and then we got a nice little low in the dark sticker. Along with oh my camera got to focus. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Okay, I still fixed it. Okay. And then the order form right here. I think this was everything that was in there. Yep. All right, one package down. We've got two more to go. I'm doing this one next. All right. Thick. Very square. I don't know what's in here. I mean, I have an idea. Oh my god! That's what it comes in? Hold on, hold on. That's what I think of this. These are the metal card series that they just released. Okay. Now I'm interested. Look at this. It says metal card set series one wave one artwork by Arnell. It says it right there. 
pretty this is. This is gorgeous. I agree with that kind of thing, but I think that they're out of stock now. They might return, but I think they were just limited stock and so limited edition. Let me get the baby out of here. So nice. Okay. I'm gonna try to open this one at a time. Oh my god, they're so pretty! And then. Oh Let me look, I gotta see these. So pretty. Blitz looks amazing. They all have these own little card holders. I think they're are they glued on here? Let me pull off a character I don't care about. So I'm gonna pull off Luna. Let's see? Looks like there's the the packs are on here through stickers. But it looks like you can take them out. I'm just gonna experiment with Luna's. So I, I don't think I can get these out, but they have little things, but you, you can take them out, but I don't know why you would. They, I feel like they're like, um, at least scratch. Look at their shift and handle. I don't think they would be scratched. Well, these looks kind of scratch. I want to see if I can take them out later, but I feel like, um, see if I can show up. It's probably something like this, that way you can display them all. But if you want to, you can just fold them up nicely and just keep them, keep them like that and whatnot. And then when, and when people want to see them, you open it and be like, these are my prized possessions. <laughs> these look so cool. I'm going to give you guys one more look at this. Hopefully it's all in there. Beautiful. So precious. I'm going to put this over here on my desk. Beautiful. And then, I think by the, by the size of this, you can kind of tell what this is. Okay. And they taped it. That's great. That means it probably ripped during shipping. Let's go. I had scissors in here, but I had to return them. They're right for the place. And a pen. I have a pen. Okay, I got it. <laughs> okay, somewhat. It's a little. Okay, there we go. Okay. These are play nuts. So, I think I'm gonna, gonna unfold these. I'm trying not to see what they are. Alright, so they're back first. Alright, so first one. Oh my god, this is so adorable! It's like the, the, the Charlie and Baggy one that was out a while ago. Also, this feels weird on the face. They are, look how pretty! Why not? Okay. Here. And then, next up. Oh, that one's so pretty! Look how cute. Little stole with a little blitz. Hang it out. So, all right, next one. Oh my god, this demon stole us. This shit looks so cool. Look at the art on it. Whoever made this is their art, like, whoever drew this, they did a fantastic job. I think I'm gonna put this as a replacement from the one in my office because this is absolutely gorgeous. Because I think the one in my office right now is the Summer Souls right now, so I'll probably retire it. And then, I mean, you guys know what the last one is. Oh, the Order Farm. I'm gonna put that away. Look how pretty it is. It's the, it's the Luigi War event. Oh, the characters are here. And whatnot. If I had to get, the, get this one, I had Stolas on here and whatnot. Oh, the, uh, like the inclusion. Of the imps on here and whatnot. This thing looks cool. Above the lettering, the initials, and then you have like the symbol on the grimoire on here too. Absolutely great. 
absolutely beautiful. And then, um, quick update is a foot. Hold on, hold on one second. All right, so we're getting down to our last two orders for this. So, the last bit of pins is in transit. And then the posters I got an email about just shipped today, I believe. So, hopefully the last clip will have both of them together. So, stay tuned. <laughs> well, hello. Ooh. I have a new background again. <laughs> I just moved back and, uh, well, I had to finish this video, so I got this all set up. I got my final packages. I'm going to go ahead and open them for you now. It should be pins and posters for this. And then I have the old pins that I got in so far, which I will put on the pin board uh, right at the end of this. So you get to see the whole collection together. I love it. Here it is. <laughs> right. This should be everything I was missing. If not, I'll cry. Yeah, okay, this is everything. I just want to share. Never be too careful. We're about sicker. And then, first we have Halloween Party Stolen. Look pretty. There shouldn't be any glare because the way this is positioned is not right by the window. I might actually put it in the corner to let me get some Stolen. Add that to the pile. Then we have, let me fix the pin. Halloween Party Moxie. So cute, little Frankenstein. Then we have Goth Moxie. Precious. And then, last but not least, we have Goth Avia. Very pretty. And then I did say we have posters. I went and went ahead and just opened them, mainly because uh, they I want I bought poster boards and whatnot. So I can put them in. So I just went ahead and just put them in there for safety reasons. So. But I mean, they pretty much look the exact same like they did in the post, like the play mats, which I will show now. We have the Rage Solus. Um, this right here, actually. <laughs> right by the couch. And then we have, I didn't realize the frame was broken until I tried. Uh, I don't know if it picks up on the camera, but it's like right by by the Z over here. There's a bit of a crack, if you can see that. So I was like, oh, if it's cracked, then I'll put it on the Ouija board, because I feel like that's fitting. So like, it's just a little crack. And then we have uh, Stolitz plus Blitz Witch Activities, which we're doing. And then we have Little Blitz and Little Stolitz sleepover. So pretty. Such a little gorgeous little baby. Alright, so I went ahead and got the pin boards out. So I will go ahead and do that now. We were gonna do the Moxie stuff first, so that's what it looks like for right now. And then I'm gonna just start grabbing some random pins. Hopefully all the pins are here. When not because the only thing I was able to put on here before I had to put this thing away was the uh, four set pins. Man, this thing is huge. That's what she said. Yeah, that, that's a lot bigger than I thought. They're a lot bigger than the other pins in the past. Jesus Christ. Maybe they're like, well, if we're going to charge $5 for shipping, I might as well make it worth it. So I just put the goth one on. I'm really amazed. Man, this one's pretty big too. All I want for Christmas is you. you know what I've been listening to? Not the actual song. I've been listening to like a parody of like Mariah Carey's All I Want for Christmas, except every time the chord like the chord changes, uh it sounds like a metal uh pipe has been dropped. And you know what? That gives me a lot of serotonin. It makes me laugh. I don't know why it makes you it's so funny to me. Just like give you like vibing and then just <laughs> Man, that was really fucking huge. Okay, I'm trying to move. I have, uh, okay, that's another Moxie thing. <laughs> Alright. Oh, this is two. You can tell I never put any, put any of these things on. Fiery Moxie portraits. 
silver. I'm gonna have to get Cameron another pin board this rate. Which I was gonna give him my old one once my parents got me a new pin board. Because, uh, no one needs one. I just wanna have the two shows separate. And whatnot. I'm gonna get in the back. Thank you. And. Oh man, you stole it from Octavia stuff this year. Okay, the final one. So technically, depending on oh, oh the changing portrait. I forgot about that one. Put you. Can I put you right here. No. Okay. Put you right there. I'm not. I'm not gonna be able to put the changing portrait on here. Yeah, this thing's full already. Yeah, that thing was that thing's full. I'm gonna put it away now. But the, I got I still have the changing portrait in my possession, so that will go on on a later date. But the, I do have it, which is the most important thing. But now, after the main event, I won't put any angel dust stuff on the solace thing for right now. So angel dust will just have to just to hold out for a little bit. Oh, come on. Yep. So that's what this looks like for now. We already started with the Halloween stuff. Well, might as well start putting this stuff a little bit in order. Let's do the costume ones first. The, ch the costume glitter ones. That's a little Octavia one. So cute. He'll go right here. He's kind of cute. Damn. They're, they're making it be good in that neighborhood. <laughs> And then the oldest one. He's just a little vampire. He's so cute. I thought Octavia's supposed to be. Is she also supposed to be kind of like a vampire? Oh, no. <laughs> there. I just want you to my own. <laughs> Alright, what is next? The goth. The goth in my position for a while. It's not goth. Yeah, goth Solus and goth Octavia. The Veronica one really did look good. I will not lie. She looked very emo. Oh my god, they made her emo! Oh, I'm not gonna bother with the thing yet. I'm just gonna put this shit inside. We're gonna get these pins on here as fast as possible. Some of the stuff really did sell out a lot. Those are the ones that I wanted. Uh, I know my friend uh, Gummy really wanted the Beelzebub one, but unfortunately it sold out before they were able to get it. So, next best thing is scalpers, unfortunately. It's the world we live in. Right. Follow me next. Mm -hmm. Sorry, you can hear my phone. <laughs> Halloween. The rude. He's got a big ass hat. Look at that. You can see him from here. I put him up here. Yeah. I knew I saved that spot for something. Then I can put the Octavia one right there. I'm so Where is he? Give me a party. I don't know what she's supposed to be. She's supposed to be like the Antichrist or what? She's a little, she looks a little demonic. Just saying. She was supposed to be like a Blair Witch kind of thing or. Ask some questions here. You win, you win with your game stuff. <laughs> Alright. Uh, let's do Stephen Deck. The fiery portrait ones. I gotta admit, it was a really good addition for them to do the silver one this time, because gold's been like really popular for them to do with a lot of these pins. I'm really curious what these Black Friday pins are gonna look like, to be completely honest with you. Is the first wave only had like the playmat shirts, um, mugs and stuff, which I, I went ahead and did order, so. There'll probably two, be two videos where I, I did like the, the first wave and went through the announcement. And I'll probably do like another video about the second announcement, but all, but the uh, unboxing thing for the merch will all be one video because it's all under the Black Friday label. 
Oh, these look kind of nice with the uh, the old portrait pins. I guess they kind of had to spice it up. They're like, well, we've already done the changing portrait and we can't bring back the normal portraits. What do we do now? And then they're like, what if we did silver? And they're like, you're hired. Also, I like the little fire detail in there. It really does bring out like they are they are demons, you know. And then the last two, Solus Changing Portrait Three, and little Solus Changing Portrait, which is from him being all happy as a kid to him taking drugs. I don't know how to feel about that. <laughs> also, I just like uh, I found out recently that the, the pilot actually is not canon anymore for Hell of a Boss, but. The pilot for Hazmat Hotel is technically still canon, even though the, the voices will be changed and whatnot. I always assumed that the pilot wasn't a thing anymore because it went like it took like a year off. So they can like finish script writing and doing all that jazz. So I just assume that like the when they released the first episode, they kinda I feel like some of the mannerisms of the characters kinda change, especially with like Millie having like went from like talking like this to have like straight up country. So I just assumed the pilot was not canon anymore, and it was just like a little tidbit thing. So you can just understand like how this war works and what they do. But most people can't use the pilot anymore to justify how the show doesn't make it easy. Because <laughs> it's not canon. I think that's everything. And then, just to, just to clarify, I do have Moxie change your portrait. I just need to get a bigger green board for him but anyway there it is there's all the updated for Solus and Octavia I do have Angel Dust which um I'll have an Excel spreadsheet in, in down below in the description if you want to look at what my collection consists of and whatnot and uh yeah that'll be down there this, this was a pretty good Halloween haul and whatnot good nice colorful play mats the pins were absolutely gorgeous this year, especially these. And then I kind of like the little cheating with the gold, like in the background, you know, that way it's not like taking up too much of the focus. And then I just, I just didn't expect these pins to be so fucking big. Look at them compared to some of the older ones. Yeah. But they're, they feel nice and whatnot. The silver ones, they definitely did a good job with. Hopefully we get more silver pins in the future. I really do like the glitter. The stickers were good, the necklaces were good, the cards were excellent. But uh, that's going to do it for the Halloween merch of 2023 for Busy Pop. Hope you guys enjoyed. I know it probably took a while, but I, I can't help shipping. I can only buy them as fast as possible and just break. That's what I have to do. <laughs> but um, yeah, if you haven't seen me review the Black Friday merch of um, like the announcement trailer, Go check that out. It'll probably be one of the end cards over here somewhere. And uh, check out the Vizicop playlist if you ever are into the merch. I, I go through a lot of it. So go check that out as well. And also start a new series where I dissect the characters and determine how much money it would be to buy the merch of them. And I've so far done Cherry Bomb and Serpentious if you want to go check them out as well. If you're interested in collecting any of those characters or just want to hear my thoughts, I recommend that. <laughs> But anyway, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time for another Busy Pop merch video. Bye! -bye.